हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज दिस इज सोहन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग युअर टेक्निकल स्पार्क चॅनल फ्रेंड्स इन अवर सिमेंटेक एंड पॉइंट प्रोटेक्शन मॅनेजर ओके विच इज अवर ए सी पी एम और सम बडी सेज सिमेंटेक अँटी व्हायरस ओके सो इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू कवर आर्किटेक्चर बिकॉज अंटिल अँड अनलेस यू डोंट नो द आर्किटेक्चर अँड वर्क फ्लो हॅव एक्झॅक्टली प्रोडक्ट वर्क्स इट्स व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट टू प्लेस दिस पर्टिक्युलर ॲप्लिकेशन इन युअर एनवायरमेंट सो विल सी हॅव एक्झॅक्टली दिस कॅन बी डन अँड हाऊ इज द वर्क फ्लो इज अँड वॉट आर द कम्पोनंट्स सिमेंटेक हॅज सो फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर व्हिडिओ आय हॅव टोटल टू आर्किटेक्चर्स थ्रू विच आय बी गोईंग टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट यू दॅट हाव एक्झॅक्टली थिंग्स इज इज गोईंग टू बी वर्क वन इज स्टँडर्ड आर्किटेक्चर फ्रॉम सिमेंटेक इट सेल्फ अँड सेकंड इज यु नो दिस पर्टिक्युलर आर्किटेक्चर आय हॅव क्रिएटेड जस्ट फॉर द युअर डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ओके व्हेरी इनिशियली आय एल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू दिस पर्टिक्युलर थिंग विच इज स्टँडर्ड आर्किटेक्चर आफ्टर वन स्मॉल इंट्रो व्हिडिओ हे वेलकम गाईज गाईज ॲज अ कुड सी इन द स्क्रीन टोटल यु नो ॲज अ कुड सी वी हॅव थ्री कम्पोनंट्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट वन इज मॅनेजमेंट सेकंड वन इज कंटेंट डिस्ट्रीब्युशन अँड थर्ड वन इज एन पॉईंट प्रोटेक्शन क्लाइंट्स सो इन द फर्स्ट सेगमेंट ओके द मॅनेजमेंट थिंग्स कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर द फर्स्ट वन इज युअर ए सी पी एम ॲप्लिकेशन और यू कॅन से ए सी पी एम सर्वर विच वर्क्स विथ अ सिक्वल डेटाबेस सम पीपल यूज एम बी डी डेटाबेस ओके विच हॅज द ए सी पी एम कन्सोल सो ए सी पी एम कन्सोल कॅन बी ॲक्सेस वाया ॲप्लिकेशन इट सेल्फ ऑर वाया ब्राउझर ना इन द सेकंड सेगमेंट वी हॅव कंटेंट डिस्ट्रीब्युशन सो द हॉट अवट द डेफिनेशन्स ऑर अपडेट्स विच इज कॅप्चर्ड बाय सिमेंटेक इट कॅन बी डिस्ट्रीब्युटेड टू क्लायंट्स वाया यु नो सर्वर इट सेल्फ ऑर गप ऑर लाईव्ह अपडेट सर्वर अँड ॲट लास्ट इंटरनेट बिकॉज ॲज पर युअर कॉम्पिकेशन क्लायंट्स विल बी एबल टू टेक अपडेट्स फ्रॉम इंटरनेट ॲज वेल and what are the types of client semantic can protect so these are the windows linux mac embedded systems as well as the virtual machines so this is the high level things i hope you all guys are clear now that what are the components semantic has right now i'll you know demonstrate you second architecture which i have prepared just for you guys okay guys so this is our architecture which i have specially designed for demonstration to you guys okay so this is our cementec endpoint protection manager okay so this server and if your system is you know the number of system which is available in your environment is less than 10000 uh, i'll again ask you guys to just review the documentation for the number of maximum client so if your you know number of systems is below 10000 then you can go with the embedded database itself okay you don't require one any additional sql server and if you have you know system count is more than 10000s client count then yeah you would require one dedicated sql server so that you know all logs can be managed effectively okay so this is our primary server now let's say you have you have offices at you know various locations and you are managing uh, you know systems which is maybe 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 5 lakh then in this situation you would be required to add secondary or you know depends on the your uh, overall requirement you need to add additional sapm server okay which will be synced with each other so that whatever policy or configuration going to you are going to make into the one server or another server this will get replicated you know with each other so for that again you will have to set up similar environment as a additional site so this is you know high level uh, information now once you configure your sapm server it will take definitions from directly from the internet okay but some in some of the organization i have seen they don't want to expose their you know uh, management server or sapm server to the internet directly due to some security purpose so in this situation what they do they configure another server that is called live update server it could be on your same uh, you know it could be on your dmg zone so what live server live update server does it download the definition from the internet and then it's you know provide or update same information to the sapm server okay so this is you know and this is how the architecture works and in this situation your direct connectivity with the internet of this sapm server will we are, we are going to stop because all updates will be happen through this particular server live update server so this is our you know a high level architecture now once your cspm server is up to date and you know it has all the definition then what we do we create package which it could be for your windows mac linux and then we install that particular client on your desktop and laptop systems okay once it's installed it will again start communicating or report their status and you know 
protect their self from the various malicious things which is available on the computer internet and so on and all policy and other steps can be configured from sap m server itself now similar way if you have any remote location because this is the, the things i am talking about the data center right so similarly if you have any uh, your other locations or you know other you know uh, segment which is available in your environment in this situation you will have to make sure that you are required communication and ports are enabled to this particular location within the office out of the office whatever it is and how to integrate the public ip this is a, those are things also i'll going to explain so that when your system is in uh, remote uh, remote location and don't have connectivity within you know with your uh, intranet then how exactly the real time status can be reported so i'll cover everything during the installation okay so no need to worry about this now let's say once you are you know open all the required ports then what let's say you have another this particular office is, is in india right and this particular office available is in dubai so in this situation uh, let's say you have here a total 1000 system so if all 1000 system start communicating with your sapm server then your bandwidth is going to be choked right because all system will download the definitions so in this situation we uh, recommend to our sim every semantic recommends to set up one gup server okay gup server is nothing like you know uh, rocket science is just one of your system okay it could be server operating system or it could be client operating system the only thing is we have to dedicately allocate 10 to 15 gb extra space for this server which is required for the definition to be stored and this particular system has to be online 24 by 7 then what happens if this particular grub server download the definition from your sapm server or live update server okay how exactly your configuration is based on that once the definition is downloaded then it will distribute same definitions or signature updates to all the system which is available in this dubai premises so communication uh, for the communication it will report communicate with the sapm but it will not choke up your bandwidth because the major content will be downloaded from gub server itself so this is the architecture and and one more thing guys and by somehow guys if your system lost the communication with your sapm and live update server then it has the you know things through which you will be able to communicate or configure your sap agent in such a way so that it these systems will be able to directly connect with your internet and download the definitions okay but all through whatever the policy you are going to configure that has to be pushed up from sapm server itself and it can protect your virtual servers your desktop laptop mac system linux system everything for which you are going to create the package and what are the operating system version you know server port what are the you know prerequisite which is required to configure the sapm this is something i'll cover in next in my upcoming video so if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe if you have any feedback for me then feel free to let me know in the comment box below so in the next video we will see sapm server prerequisite as well as semantic support portal walkthrough because how exactly you will download the software and other, other stuff uh, you know create cases with the semantic this is all important things so with this information i'll end this particular video here and i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye